Hello, welcome back. And you've seen how JavaScript and HTML and CSS can be used to make a web app, right? That's what they're for, making an interactive web page. But you've also seen how you can cheekily use them to make a mobile app, right? One that you can put on the App Store, the Play Store, um, that you can be really, really successful, right? Even though it's just written in HTML and JavaScript. But there's also a sneaky way that you can use it to make a desktop application, right? How cool is that? Normally, you'd make a desktop application for Windows and Mac and Linux, um, and to also make it for iOS, for Windows Phone, um, for Android, and you want to make a the website as well, you would have to learn maybe seven different, probably languages, programming languages to do it, and frameworks and everything. Um, but if you use Electron and PhoneGap and things like that, you can do everything just with HTML and JavaScript. It's a lot easier, right? Save a lot of time rather than having to recode it for all those different things. So it is really cool. And that's what they mean by cross-platform. It runs on many platforms. Uh, and it's free. It's all open source as well, which is great. Um, some really generous organizations and people putting their time to make it happen. Um, and it's really popular as well. A lot of really big companies use it. Microsoft use it for some of their software. Um, Atlassian, a multi-billion dollar Australian software business. Um, Slack, Discord. Discord is written and Slack are both written in Electron or using Electron. Uh, there are heaps and heaps of apps. There's a, a list here. Um, there's just giant hundreds and hundreds of apps. Uh, yeah, productivity, music apps, all sorts of things, games. So it is a cool way to make desktop applications, and it's really popular. And it's kind of pretty easy to get started as well because you're using these things. Um, this video will be mainly an installing things video because the first step is to install um, Electron. But it says you need to run NPM. We don't have a program called NPM. So the zeroth step... <laughs> is to install npm. Now it happens that npm is actually part of node. So what we really want to install is we want to install something called node or node.js. Um, if you Google install node or you visit this link in the description, then you can click on um, this recommended download. Uh, node is a way of running uh, JavaScript on on a server normally, um, or on a computer outside of the browser. It happens, you don't have to write any node for this node, uh, but Electron happens to use node. And Electron needs NPM, and NPM comes with node. So the first step, first thing to install is node. Uh, I won't actually go through with the installation. You know how to install software. Just click on that, run it, and install it. Next step, we can run this command and install npm. There is a dollar sign here, but that just means that you need to run it in a command prompt. We don't actually um, type the dollar sign. Um, okay, I have made a folder and I'm in the folder, but you can run this wherever is convenient for you. Um, I'm going to select this command, Oop, select it, come on, and then copy it, and then go on the command prompt. On Windows, you'll have the command prompt. You can right click to paste. Uh, on Mac, you will do it in the terminal and you'll do command V to paste. This will run, it'll install. Uh, mine will probably run quicker than yours because mine is already installed. But as long as at the end is successfully updated or installed, you're all good. Next step. There is a quick start here, right? A minimal application that just pops up a window. Uh, the first step is to uh, clone the git repository. I can visit this, you won't have to visit this, but I'll visit it just to show that they have um, hosted this on GitHub, so they've got it stored in Git. Um, but to install it, all you need to do is copy that and then paste that in there, run that. Boom, done, that was easy. That was quicker than expected actually. And now we can move into that folder. We can change directory into that folder. So CD space into that folder. And finally, npm install and npm start. 
These are two different commands. The first one will install all of the different uh, node packages that you need using NPM, the node package manager. And the second one, of course, will start your web app. Oh, wow, that was quickly expected. Um, there it is. There's our very first web app using Node Chromium. So it comes with Chromium in the browser. Um, you've got your developer tools, which is very cute uh, and really, really handy as well. So you can use your developer tools on your normal computer program. You might be thinking, oh, hang on, this doesn't look like a program, like a desktop application. It kind of looks like a website. And the reason is that normally you would use CSS to make it look exactly how you want. With CSS, you can make it look like a normal um, desktop application. Uh, in fact, although we won't use them, people have written uh, CSS files that you can include in your project that make your thing look exactly like an iOS app. Um, you know, with all the pop-ups that come up and everything, or exactly like an Android app. Um, you know, people have done the same thing. There you go, like an Android look and feel. People have done the same thing with uh, Mac OS. So there's, uh, you know, CSS files that you include that will make this all look exactly like Mac OS. But to be honest, save yourself the trouble. I find it easiest just to play with CSS and make it look pretty. And then it looks however you want to look as well. Um, you can make it as pretty as you like. All right. Hope you had fun getting started with Node and Electron. Um, in the next video, we will get rid of this pesky menu bar um, and do some things to kind of individualize it. Bye.